Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maggie. Thanks for stopping by to spend a little time with me today. I've uh, Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm still remembering and figuring out how to do all this. But I've done a few um, Dollar Tree uh, shop with me's and so I wanted to do the hauls, uh, show you what it is I decided to pick up from there. Of course, with me, it's I could easily spend $100 in there, but I gotta be frugal, gotta be wise, I'm on a budget. And um, I picked up some fun things. Um, I have something I got from, ooh, you see that big face leaning over. Um, the little bags that I that I bought these, I, this was a couple of hauls ago. I think it was my second haul. There were two types, pink and red. And um, these I'm actually getting ready to get together with some girlfriends uh, next weekend out of town. And so I'm super excited. So I have written their names. That's my sister's name. So I can put that up there. I have written their names on one of these bags and I've bought, bought some things that I'm going to share with you that I'm going to put inside just as a little, yay, I'm so glad we're here this weekend together. So it's really going to be a lot of fun. So this was one, th one idea that I did with the little, um, the little Valentine bags that, um, Dollar Tree has and I my last haul I think and I know I've got to go on and do some other stuff I got to come up with an intro I've got to figure out how to do a watermark I mean there's all these things and I'm like okay I think I'll figure it out you're just gonna see it get better and better and better and I've got different things I want to do a, an update on my weight loss journey so you're gonna see another video about that and I'm rambling and let's just get on with it um, it's been snowing here and now I'm hearing a downpour deluge, which means all the beautiful snow is going to be going away. And this girl is not happy. The roads were not dangerous. I'm just saying the snow could have lasted for a few more days. It did snow earlier today, but now the rains come. But I've got about four or five bags here. Um, I can't wait to show you. It's really random. Uh, I did buy some things for um, enrichment ideas for my house here for when my granddaughter comes over. And so I hope you like what I picked and there's stuff in preparation my birthday is at the end of the month of February and so I'm buying some things in preparation for that my twin sister and I are going to be celebrating together we're still trying to figure out what theme we're going to do we're planning to do just a dinner at the house you know COVID and all that stuff really kind of limits what you can do but um, we're going to enjoy and celebrate everything together and maybe pick out a chick flick that our fellas don't want to watch, but we'll tolerate it on our birthday. So, and that's why the hair is back today too. Not because of my birthday or anything. The rainy weather. I'm not, I haven't even been outside and the frizz happens. And I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to try today. So this is it. My, my wet weather hair. And I worked. So who saw me anyway, let's get on with the haul. I'm going to dip down here and pick it up. Oh, yeah. These were gorgeous. Okay, I picked these up. I know they brought these out for Valentine's Day, but I thought they were just so pretty. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these. Let me go ahead and bring these up. But look at how huge these are. They are microwave and dishwasher safe. And I'm going to assume that that, which easily is a soup mug, but I love that there's these two colors. Isn't that nice? These are really super nice. And I'm not seeing, I, know, I wish they would put the ounces on the bottom of these things. You know, that would help so much. Um, this is bigger than 16 ounces. I can tell you that right now. So this is more than two cups. So two of these, and if you have a Cricut, you could personalize these. I wish I had a Cricut because <laughs> I would really love to personalize these. But these would make a great gift. And especially, you know, if you wanted to do something for, you know, some of her Valentine's Day, just unique. You could wrap this up, put some things inside here, put some things inside and then wrap it up with the cellophane and come up with a really pretty gift for someone in your life. All right. Okay, so I saw this in a previous haul. I believe it was Crafty Girl Marie. And you know what? I think, I don't know if we're allowed to link someone else's um, 
YouTube channel, but I'm just going to try and copy her YouTube channel and link it below. You got to check her out. She's awesome. But I think I saw this in hers and I looked and I was so excited when I found it. Look at this. This is, let me take the plastic off so that's not um, creating a glare. But this is like a shadow box. Look at that. This is all, but look at, look at how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? What? Dollar Tree, you killed me. What are you doing? Wake up and smell the coffee. I'm going to put this downstairs um, on my kitchen counter right next to the coffee pot and the little tray that's got all the sugar and, and uh, sweetener and all those things that they have available. That was super nice. Um, I told you this is completely random because nothing to me is even remotely related. I mean, you've got a coffee bar, little sign, and two mugs. Okay, I guess that is kind of related. All right, whatever. Anyway, this is not. Have you guys ever seen these dryer balls? I've heard about them for years. It says it softens the fabric without chemical fabric softeners, reduces drying time and saves energy, reduces static and lint buildup. I'm all about that. Do you see the little example they gave how this, this little stack is, you know, not as fluffy as this one? I'm going to try it. I guess you just toss them into the dryer. All right. It's a, um, it's a Dollar Tree product. It says green briar. We'll see. We'll see. You know what? I think I need to redo my hair. Let me just do this one. It, uh, the frizz was just killing me today and I see Cruella's trying to make her appearance again. I'm going to have to take care of that. <laughs> it's one of the parts, you know, why couldn't my gray hair come out underneath on the bottom? Why does it always have to be on the top? But I guess that's, I'm not ready to go full gray. Okay. Yep, this is completely random. I found these adorable socks. I love these because of the treads that they have on them. Do you see those? So every time I find a new pair of socks, my granddaughter is going to be, she's going to have a sock fetish. I mean, these are cute. Look at them. I just bought her a bunch, and I think I've got some more in another bag from another haul. I found these because the last few times we've had birthday parties here, guess who hasn't had candles? And we do have an important, a very important birthday coming up at the end of February. So I got the rose gold and the silver. I may just go get some other ones that are a little more fun, a little more, um, you know, for children or festive. But these I thought were pretty nice. We probably use them on my birthday. You never know. And then I did grab these little baby shower favor safety pins. I know they generally use these for a gift or maybe to decorate cakes or something. I'm using these as counters as one of the things that we can, um, that I can provide. Now she's too little for me to use these yet. I don't think she'd put them in her mouth because Eleanor just hasn't been someone who, she hasn't been a baby who puts things in mouths, you know, so that hasn't been a worry, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to chance it, but I'm going to have those in a container. And when she's ready, we can pull them out. Just one more fun thing to make math or counting or patterns or whatever it is. Yeah, there's there's like pink, purple, green, blue, white, and yellow. I mean, that's a nice little color combination. I like, you know, and blue. I didn't say blue. There's blue in there. Um, this is the educational poster. I think that was my last haul. You can see that it's shapes and colors. I want to say, I don't know if there's two posters in here or if they're back to back. I'll have to check that out. If they're back to back, I'll have to come up with something. It feels, let me take it out so I can, let's check it out. Oh, I don't have to. Look what it says in the corner. Open your eyes, Maggie. Two pieces. Two pieces right there. Okay, so we have shapes and colors. And I do have a laminator, so I'm going to see if laminating is possible. If not, I may just get some contact paper to give it a little bit more sturdiness. I hate it when I put a poster on the wall and then 
you know, it gets ripped or whatever in the corner and then the corners are torn. I want to do something to reinforce that, you know, maybe use the uh, tacky, um, you know, the poster putty. I, Dollar Tree sells it too. I think I've got some around here. I got another double stick tape. Oh, double stick tape. <laughs> There's an idea. This is so awesome. I, I just can't get enough of these. I think this is my third roll. <clears throat> One roll I've already gone through. Okay, here's some more. I haven't heard of this brand. I told you socks. Jump ball. But these are very, very cushiony. You can look and tell how nice and thick they are. Very nice. These are the well, socks sizes four to six up there in the corner. Do you see that? focus anyway size four to six so I'm that's gonna fit her and it looks like they're pretty basic socks but they're nice they're really nice and um, definitely worth it um, I got the plastic crayon container by jot very nice it doesn't have to be just for crayons but that's why I got it was for the crayons because I do have a box of 24s around here somewhere it's just really helpful these don't come around that often i don't remember the last time i saw them there so i'm probably going to grab a few more if you're especially if you teach uh sunday school or it's, it's a great way you can give your child their own color or you can just write their name across the top and then they'll know whose is who you know ownership is uh very important to children oh i got two and so this is are they the same no so I got a pink set and a blue set. These socks, I mean, it's so important to have your feet protected. See, I knew I had more socks. <laughs> and then I got two sets of these faux pearls, two different sizes. I use these to make pearl embellishments for my floral arrangements, corsages and bouquets and things. Um, I have done florals for about six or seven weddings making wedding bouquets and uh the name of my um floral business is silk and pearls i do have a i'll link it down below so you can check it out um it's it's something that i have always loved doing i started doing it with my children when my daughter started getting married and um you know it's just snowballed into i do make myself available to do silk flowers for your wedding i just had a wedding uh this in 2020 it was um, really, it was really unique. Let me grab another bag. You know, with coronavirus and all that stuff that was happening with that, uh, we, they almost thought they were going to have to cancel. But I'm glad they didn't, and I'm glad our the flowers were wonderful for them. Um, you know, there's a certain birthday at the end of the month, so I picked up two of these. These are so big. There's a dozen of the balloon sticks. Okay, so, I mean, I love the helium balloons. Those are great. But it's got the little um, hook things, I guess, that you stick around. And then the little sticks on there. So I'm thinking we're going to find some balloons. I saw some the other day on my shop with me. The little heart ones with the confetti in it. Those are so fun and festive. We may get those and Winnie and I will have to discuss the color scheme we want. But what a great way. And Dollar Tree balloons. I mean, you get how many, what, 12 in a bag for a dollar versus the helium balloons, which, again, don't get me wrong. I love them. I think they're very festive. I love bringing people a, a balloon bouquet. But these can go on the table, make a nice big giant bouquet of 24 which I think is wonderful. Where's my bag? Right here. Okay. Again, that's random. So, all right, here's some other educational things that I picked up. Now, this was from that first haul, these little leapfrog things. And actually, that's not orange. That's red. The lighting in that store really made this thing look orange. I pull it out, and it's red. So, red, green, and blue of these big frogs and these are those ones you put them on the table and flip that part and it's supposed to make them jump see that see and even the camera here is making them look orange all right so I, I couldn't find another pack of these large ones 
So I went to a second Dollar Tree and I found the 24, which these are really cute. These I, she won't put in her mouth. It has more colors, green, yellow, pink, and orange. Light green, yellow, pink, and orange. There's 24 in here. This is a great way to help them develop patterns, do adding and subtracting, counting. I mean, all of them. I just think it's fantastic. I picked up a jumbo blanket storage bag. These are so important. We have so many. My husband and I have um, a king size bed and we have a couple of comforters that we, you know, uh, will pull out you know, uh, at, during the seasons, we're getting ready to, I guess, change it out again when the weather gets warm, but I want to store them in something that is going to keep them free of dust because we, we launder them and then we bring them back and they stay in the closet getting dusty until we need them again. And then it's like, why did I even do that? So I thought this was a great way. I mean, it's a dollar. I don't know how they do it. I haven't, it says jumbo blanket storage bag and it gives the dimensions down here. 21 by 25 by 11. Okay. I haven't measured to see how good or bad that is. And I got two of those. Just because I've got several blankets. I picked up... Again, this is random, guys. I thought I would try their collagen cleansing cloths. <sighs> the older you get, the more important collagen and retinol become. I have the retinol wipes and I wanted to try the collagen wipes. And so these have always been a good product for me. I've actually seen Global Beauty Care in, um, what is that makeup store that everyone likes? Not Sephora. It'll come to me and then I'll scream it right in the middle of doing something else. But it's the big beauty store. I've seen these products there for more than a dollar. So I'm glad that Dollar Tree has them. And then lastly, we have these. I have I saw these at, at a different Dollar Tree than what I normally do. This is a silicone glove. So just imagine pulling cookie trays out of the oven. These are perfect for that. I have some that I got when uh, I was with the, the Pampered Chef as a consultant with them. And they are, they're cute. They look like red lips and they're perfect for pulling things out of the microwave. This is much more secure for pulling out something out of the oven. And I don't think Pampered Chef has that. One of my favorite companies. I actually love direct selling and I was with that company for 11 years and I had no beefs, no squawks. I would have stayed with it except the Lord says, nope, this is your last year. He said that to me in 2018 and I'm going to do a whole nother video about direct sales because if you need a side hustle, you find a good company and you can control your hours and that's not this video. So I have one more bag. Oh, this is the one that has the goodies in it for my friends. Uh, let me show you. Okay. Well, this isn't for them, but this was the larger treat sacks that they had. You can compare the size. This had three in a pack. This had two. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet, but this is an awful lot of fun. And yes, I know the pink hearts are Valentine's, but it doesn't say Valentine's. So you can use this for any occasion that you just want to express love. Hearts is one of my favorites. And I told you, I'm not a big fan of the um, Happy Valentine's Day markings on things because it limits it to just Valentine's Day. But I love the hearts. And these bags are very sturdy. The drawstrings are, you know, this one's coming frayed, but I'll trim that. Um... My husband was complaining the other day that our steak knives were not sharp enough. And so I got these steak knives just so, just for him. I've never tried them, but they're a dollar. So how bad could they be? If I get a month's use out of them and then they rust or fall apart, I figured I've gotten my use out of them. A 25 cents a knife. I'm worth, to me, it's worth a shot to give it a try. So I thought, what, what the hey? I'm going to make my husband happy. Is that crooked? I'm going to make him happy and give him a serrated knife. And I mean, how dull can a serrated knife get? Do you see that? I mean, that looks pretty good. Four? Four for a dollar? Why not? Okay. 
And let me see. Okay, so for my friends, I picked up these fun Snugadoo, Snugadoo socks I've been very impressed with. So they're each getting a pair of Snugadoos. There was different patterns. This one seems to be like a little monkey or a bear, hedgehog maybe. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Let's see. They had all these, a bunch of different patterns. This is, it looks like it's a reindeer face. Okay. A little sheep. That looks like a kitty cat. And this looks like a, a bear. Just adorable. And so I'm going to put one of those socks inside, one roll them up in there. And then the other thing I'm getting, and I have never seen these before in Dollar Tree either. Do you see what this is? My mind is blown. This is a five step. It says travel kit vacay glow. So you have a cleansing oil, a foaming face wash, a toner, an avocado sheet mask, and a hydrating cream. See where it says open me? Isn't that cute? Look at that. And each one is labeled. So I'm planning on us having a girls night where we do facials, where we do whatever, but these are going to go inside each one. I think they're adorable. This was at one and look, they have the little, the tabs up here and down here so that you can open them easily and, oh, and then the, the tear strip right here. I mean, how adorable is this I mean oops oh my god so professional Whew. so I mean look at that what a fun little girls night little weekend I'm really looking forward to it we're planning to go um just hang around I think there's bowlings on the agenda I think there's a trip to a winery that we're gonna have lunch and so I'm just I am so excited. Oh my God. Can I bumble this anymore, guys? Go ahead. Get your laugh. <laughs> get your laugh. Okay. So I found this in the snack section. And I was like blown away. There's four individual bags in here. This has banana chips, raisins, dried papaya, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. So... These are dried fruits. These might be a little too carby for me. Yeah, 21 grams of carbs. That's about what I have for an entire day. But I figure it's a healthy snack. I may try it with the baby because I know she likes raisins. I don't know how she feels about some of the other things. But my hubby likes dried fruit. So he might enjoy that. Okay. And then, oh, I did find these adorable stickers. You saw that in that first... Um, Easter, I mean, excuse me, that first uh, shop with me that I ever did. These cute little Easter eggs are just, and then the bunnies. Aren't they cute? You can make cards with them. You could do, now this is the altered paper clips I was telling you about. Making an altered paper clip. You see that? I had some right here. So taking one of these. Easter eggs are getting two of them and back to back and glue in a paper clip. You see, you see how that works. That's just something fun to do that you can make that's easy. I picked up these two journals. Okay. The journals have the sheet of stickers here in the front. But then, you know, I use these these notebooks all the time to make lists. This one had the llamas on it. And this one had the get it done. These are just really, I like this one. But first coffee, my favorite. But they're, they're just really cute. 
enjoy the fluffy things. I love it. But these I'll keep on hand if I use them or if I decide to give them to someone. You know, I like them. A notebooks, I'm addicted to them. And the last thing that I have in here is a series of storybooks. Easy to read. Now, my granddaughter loves Charlie Brown. Her, her gammy loves Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And so she's been introduced to some of those. I think I did one story on my other channel and I'll, I'll link, I'll link um, my other channel, Storytime with Gigi below. Um, this is an easy reader and it tells you on the back the different levels. I want to find the books in these other levels, but the ones I bought were in this level right here. But I'll show you the different titles. Um, Time for School, Charlie Brown. Lucy Knows Best. Nemesis. Snoopy and Woodstock, Best Friends Forever. And then Make, what is that? Make a Trade, Charlie Brown. I oh, know it's backwards. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe just get a different camera. But anyway, I'll show you. These are really very brightly colored. I'll grab one and show it to you. Flip through it. Very, you're going to see these on my uh, story time with Gigi because um, it's got a lot of, of words, but I love the artwork. It's beautiful. It's big. It's very brightly colored. I mean, and who doesn't love the peanuts, right? Who doesn't love the peanuts? And so these are just really fun stories that... I'm really going to enjoy reading and, you know, just filling up my channel with some more things. I love it. I just, I've always loved reading and bedtime stories. And so that's why I have that other one. All right. So that's it. I have, I have totally shown you what I've gotten from Dollar Tree. <laughs> You'd think there was nothing more for me to buy there, but they get new stuff every week and I'm always running out of something or coming up with a different idea. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for putting up with my bumbles and my so professional way of filming. I will get better. Okay. I will get better. All right. Thanks for spending time with me today. You have a great day and a good evening. Bye till next time.